Hi friends, um, it's a wonderful privilege to come and share with you from our heart just what God has shown regarding these three waves that would cross over Africa and the globe. Um, the Global Day of Prayer, which I think many of us have seen the results of, how God has started from a southern tip of Africa with one stadium and has seen this day of repentance and prayer grow into what has become a lifestyle of prayer and has just rolled out across Africa and around the globe. Um, and no man, no committee can claim any credit. This is God's plan and exactly as he showed it would roll out through two clear instructions and dreams and visions, it has rolled out. And I've been amazed just to see the accuracy with which this has um, gone out across Africa and the globe. In October of 2006, I woke for the second time in my life with a Holy Spirit experience, a electricity going through my body. And for about three and a half hours, from four in the morning until 7.30, God showed me how um, He plans to roll out these three waves across Africa. First wave of prayer, which we have seen through the GDOP movement, that the second wave would be challenging people regarding ethics, values and clean living. And the third wave would be the positive tsunami. Now, when I think tsunami, I think death and destruction, but this is about a positive, the opposite, the positive revival and transformation. I could not see or try and give you an explanation of that positive wave, but I can tell you that that second wave had so much clarity and so much detail. Uh, many of us are wearing this armband with uh, 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 2 Chronicles 7.14 on it and of course it talks about if my people who are called by my name will number one humble themselves and pray number two seek my face and turn from their wicked ways and then number three that we that he would hear from heaven forgive our sin and heal our land and I believe that that's exactly as God has shown that he would have these three waves number one the prayer that's rolling out across the globe the second thing would be unashamedly ethical or ethics values and clean living and then the third would be this positive revival. Now that second wave, which I'd like to just expand on a little bit now, um, the detail was that, number one, we would challenge people to sign a pledge form. And that pledge form with its ten pointers takes you through about not paying bribes, not receiving bribes, and a few other key things about really cleaning up our daily lives. Secondly, um, that there would be an electronic yellow pages. Now you can imagine if you or I wanted to get an electrician or a plumber to come and work in our home, would you not rather go onto a yellow pages and go and identify somebody living in your region that has running a business of that, of that nature to come into your home and the chances are good that A, they're going to give you a reasonable quote, secondly that they're going to not overcharge you and that they're going to do work of quality. And the key thing is that, the third point is that if they did not do that, you could report them to the ombudsman, who would be a judge, somebody of high standing, somebody with impeccable uh, values, and that that person would then effectively hear the case and would either then reprimand or even, uh, in, a, in, a, in a serious case, be able to scrap the person from the uh, presence of, the, of, of being on the unashamedly ethical website. Um, and of course one's hope is that it's going to alleviate 80 or 90 percent of the problems that you and I could have with people that we deal with. The other example would be if I wanted to go and do business in another city or I wanted to visit another city, would you not rather go to a bed and breakfast or a hotel um, or to contact somebody in your line of business which you need to network with and you know that you're part of this unashamedly ethical club. And so I really want to challenge you to take on this uh, next wave with the excitement and the enthusiasm because I believe God's going to roll this out at an even greater pace than the Global Day of Prayer has rolled out across the globe. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking this challenge. And I really want to ask you to encourage those around you, colleagues, family, friends, to become part of this unashamedly ethical family. And I believe God is going to expand this at such an amazing rate that we'll be blown away by the impact that it has across the globe. Thank you, friends. Bless you and goodbye.